my quest for a better sleeping quilt coming up. Now, earlier this year, I recognized that my sleeping quilt was not as comfortable as it used to be. Now, I've been using a local Libre top quilt for since 2018, so it's been, you know, five years. And it's been great. It's a 20 degree operator uh, ghost pepper, and it weighs 1.2 pounds. At the time, it was the lightest 20 degree quilt I could find out there. And that's why I bought it, for its ultra lightness. So it was a normal width and a normal length. And for me, it was a little bit too small for me. Uh, it was a little drafty, and the foot box was not sewn in, and so my feet got cold, even if I strapped it to my pad. So I just put on more layers of clothes, and uh, I just put up with it, because I was interested at the time of just doing longer days on the trail and more miles. And that's what my primary objective was, was to get as light as possible, and I could put up with a little bit of discomfort. But times have changed. I'm not hiking 20 or 30 mile days anymore because of some injuries and I'm just getting older. I'm just not interested in doing those big mile days anymore. I'm okay these days with trading all those big mile days with being a little bit more comfortable when I'm sleeping. So now it came time for me to go out there and find something better that would fit more about what I'm doing today. So I thought about sleeping bags. I have one. I have a Western Mountaineering Versalite. It's a 10 degree bag and it weighs 2.2 pounds. But I always found sleeping bags to be a little bit too confining, right? I toss and turn a lot so I get all twisted up in this thing. And I have a hard time making a pillow work with, with the hood on that sleeping bag. So sleeping bags to me have never been all that comfortable. But quilts for me, uh, have been better. Quilts allow me to toss and turn. I don't get all twisted up in them. It's easy for me to have a pillow that works with a quilt and it just feels like home because it just lays on top of you. Uh, much like you do in your bed at home. And if I get too warm, I can take my feet out or I can uncover a little bit without having to unzip and do all that stuff. So to me, it's a little bit more convenient. So me, it just feels like it should when I'm sleeping with a quilt. Now, I'm not here to convince you to use a quilt instead of a sleeping bag. This is just how I sleep and how, what it feels like for me. You might absolutely love your sleeping bag. Then keep doing that. There's a lot of hype about quilts. Most of it is just trash talking sleeping bags. For instance, they'll say at the bottom of a sleeping bag is useless because you're squashing all the insulation down there and it just doesn't do anything for you to keep you warmer. For the same temperature rating, sleeping bags are typically heavier. All I would say to you that if you're trying to decide between a sleeping bag and a quilt is just to be honest with yourself. If these objections about a sleeping bag matter to you, then you might want to try some quilts. If not, stick with your sleeping bag. Stick with what you love. Emery by Land has a nice video out there. Uh, he is a sleeping bag guy. He's not a quilt guy. And he makes a great case for using sleeping bags instead of quilts. So in your research, you might want to check this guy out. Link down below. Now I ended up getting a 15 degree storm loft by Outdoor Vitals. It's a bit wider and it's a bit longer than my local Libre. It's a little bit heavier. But I got the sewn-in foot box, which keeps my feet a little bit warmer. And because it's wider and longer, it's just much more comfortable. I fit in it. I wear less layers. It's more comfortable. So it'll solve the draftiness problem that I had. Now, I could have stayed with a local Libre brand because I really like this guy and what he does with his quilts. He's an honest businessman, and he makes great products. It's a little boutique shop. Good guy. Good product. But... His waiting time was a little bit more than I wanted to do this year, or that I could do this year. So I went ahead and bought the Stormloft, which I really like. It has some, it's, it's, it's a great quality sleeping quilt. And um, so far, I've really enjoyed it. Now, I'm not sponsored by any of these manufacturers. I bought all this stuff on my own. And I'm not really here to um, look at uh, 
the storm loft in any great detail. There's some great videos out there now that do all that kind of stuff in some crazy detail. So I would just encourage you to just to do your own research, find out what works for you. If um, big miles are not a big thing for you, then I would recommend getting something a little bit wider, a little bit longer. Just go for the comfort as long as it's not a crazy weight difference. So if you're in the same kind of spot that I am, I hope this helped you. And uh, I encourage you to get out there and do your own research and find the product that you absolutely love the best and go with that. But uh, for me, comfort, more important than miles. And I still want to be out there enjoying this for as long as I possibly can. So I'm starting to get products that are that, uh, that work for me. So get what works for you. Get out there and enjoy the trail. Enjoy nature. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. I will, I have some more Alpine hikes coming up this year, but there's a lot of hiking videos here on this channel. And I also do product reviews and I take a look at all things hiking and backpacking. So tell me about your little adventure for finding quilts or sleeping bags that work for you. I'd like to hear your comments down below. And like this video, share it with your friends. It's what makes this channel grow. And I appreciate you. And I'll see you on the trail.